Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode of the John Morris Show. So I got this from Daryl via email. He said, hey, John, just wanted to say great course, uh, parentheses, PHP 101, and I'm really enjoying the info, but I do have a question. After I'm finished with the course, where do I go from there? Would I be ready to start accepting clients on Upwork? Now, this is one of the more interesting things to me because I actually get this quite a bit, these, these sorts of questions. And it happens to a lot of coders, I think. Happened to me. Most coders I know that I've talked to, it happens to them, has happened to them at some point. And it's that moment when you know that you've kind of learned everything that you need to know and you're ready to make that leap and start getting paid to do this. And that fear and that doubt and that questioning kicks in and you really do kind of start to to question everything. Do I really know what I think I know? You know, do I... Am I really going to be good enough? Can I deliver? All those sorts of things. And what's especially insidious about this is most people who even attempt to get into programming tend to see themselves as smart, right? They wouldn't even try to get into programming if they didn't think that they were at least smart on some level. So most of us in this little community of ours tend to be fairly confident intellectually. So when you experience fear in something intellectual, two things happen. One, often you freak out (laughs) because that's something you rarely experience. You're not used to it and you really don't know how to handle it. And so again, it just causes you to freak out. And the second thing is, is that we tend to kind of retreat back to our intellectualism, to think that intellectualism is the answer, that more learning is the answer. And because of that, our thinking tends to shrink into seeing like this, only this impossible choice. Like we we don't think anything else is possible other than what seems like an impossible choice. And that is either make this kind of terrifying, anti-intellectual seeming leap of faith and to just go for it, or to, again, retreat and and delve into more intellectualism. And that usually takes the form of, well, I just need to learn more. If I just learn this one more thing, then I'll be confident. That's what a a lot of us tend to say. And in a lot of ways, I don't want to be too melodramatic here, but it does become kind of this internal battle for your mind and for your soul. Like, do I let fear keep me locked in my own intellectualism? never taking any risks, never doing anything that seems scary, never doing anything that requires something emotional from me? Or do I make this really scary, really emotional, like we've kind of built it up in our minds, this over-the-top leap of faith and put myself out there and risk being ridiculed, risk failing, risk possibly seeing myself as not as smart as I think I am. And this can really be debilitating and you might have experienced this. And if you have, you would know that this can paralyze a lot of new coders. It can keep them from really, can really lock them into just this, this uh, never ending phase of learning. I just need to keep learning more. I just need to keep learning more until the fear goes away. It doesn't happen. Right. That's just not the way it works. Now, of course, the answer to all this is somewhere in the middle, right? You, you of course do need to learn the skills, right? You gotta, you need to develop your talent and make sure that you can deliver and and you can deliver things that people are going to want. You you absolutely have to do that. But at the same time, at some point, you're also going to have to make some sort of leap of faith, bid on that job, apply, uh, apply for that job, build an app, whatever it is. At some point, you're just going to have to go for it, no matter how scary it is, because you're not going to know how to do those things, how to freelance or how to apply and get hired or how to build an app that people want to buy. You're not going to know how to do things. You're not going to be able to learn how to do th- those things until you do them. And in those particular areas, there's not necessarily like you can't download, <laughs> you can't download uh, a piece of software that lets you, like uh, an IDE type thing that lets you do interviews and get like it doesn't. It's not the same as coding. You just can't do that. So again, at some point, you do have to make that sort of leap of faith. So 
when people ask me what's next like this, oftentimes what I find is they already know the answer, right? I mean, he, he kind of implies it in here. Would I be ready to start accepting clients on Upwork? That's a question that you have to answer for yourself. And so, and, and you really need to answer it, trying to answer it objectively, not let fear just overtake all of your thinking and infect the way that you see things. So again, that's what's next is to tackle that fear head on. If you've done the work, you probably have the skills. You've learned what you need to learn. And you'll never not feel some fear about getting work until you get work. And even then, it's probably still always going to be there a little bit. Every new job, every new client, every new app, you're always going to have some reservation, some fear that's there. And you just have to learn how to go ahead and move forward anyway, how to be objective and move forward. Again, that's just how it works. So to use a cliche line, just do it. (laughs) Now, of course, as I mentioned, you do first need to get those skills, right? You have to develop that talent. And there, when it comes to PHP, there's a certain base of things that you need to know how to do in order to actually build stuff. And so if you want to learn those skills and get to that point where you can actually build stuff for clients, get work, all that sort of thing, then, and do it, I would say, the fast way and probably an easier way like Daryl did, then I, again, want to encourage you to enroll in my PHP 101 course. Right now I'm running a special on it. You can get $20 off the regular price. The link is johnmorrisonline.com slash special, but that is going to end in just a few days. So I'm going to end it on September 30th at 1159 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's just a few days away. So if you want to get in, you'll have you want to make sure and do that here soon. Again, the link is johnmorrisonline.com slash special. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for listening. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll talk to you next time.